Hi everybody, Mary here. So here's part two, but this is part two with a twist of the angelfish. I had planned just to do the fish and finish up, but when my husband, after looking at it for several days while I was away, um, thought that the background was too dark. So he suggested white. And I have to say, I, you know, once I really looked at it after being away from it for, a few, for you know, about a couple of weeks, I said, you know, he's right, it has to be white. So I set out to do that. I began with the sponge, as you saw, and um, it just was not opaque enough. Um, now, I didn't really mind if some of the background showed through. I thought it would look kind of nice, but it, I didn't really like the effect. Uh, it, it wasn't, it really was missing something. So coming up, you're going to see me take out some uh, modeling paste, some light modeling tape paste, I'm sorry, and some titanium white. And then I went over it again with that. And I went, I used it, I used a spatula and I went over, you know, the, the entire background. But in the meantime, I'm losing control of my, or the parameters of the fish. And although I liked the white, I felt that it looked a little flat as well. It did, it just was missing something again. So after I completed putting in this white background, I had second thoughts about having it so stark. And I wanted some movement in this fish, in this picture. I, it just looked like uh, boring, if you will. <laughs> so I wanted to do something more and you know, I've been working on this fish a really long time and um, patience pays off. I've had to stop several times. So as I look at it, I realize, as you just saw the, in the text, I just, the fish was making me unhappy. It needed something. It needed more um, dimension, um, you know, more shadowing. And I did, and again, the background, I wasn't crazy about the background. So I frog taped carefully around the fish as best I could. And then I mixed up some of the titanium white and the modeling paste and just a, a touch of that aqua. Uh, it was a combination of phthalo blue and um, uh, bright yellow. And I mixed that up. Uh, there might have been another color in there. I can't remember at this point because the last time I recorded this was March 15th and it's already April. So you can imagine, um, I've had to stop several times and, you know, just do it piece by piece. So this really has, it's taken a long time, but not in hours, um, so much as just trying to get the time together to do it because a lot has happened as life will do, <laughs> you know, throws you a curveball here and there just for fun. But, but anyway, so with the idea that I really wanted to create movement, I went over it um, again and I made it darker. And uh, I was um, using my spatula to create movement. And then I put, um, you'll see me put some white on the spatula only, the titanium white and the modeling paste uh, by itself. And I go all over the canvas to make it look as though the fish is moving, that the water is moving. And I do, I do that throughout the canvas and I, you know, um, I really think it helped a lot to give the painting what I was trying to achieve in the first place was that it wasn't just a fish sitting there, um, you know, it was actually moving. Um, and as it turns out, this is going to be a three-part series because once I'm done unmasking my fish, I then have to finish painting it. Um, the fish, I was doing this in while I was in Florida in between everything else that I was doing. And as you're watching me do this, you can see exactly what I'm doing while I talk. So as I, as I uh, get this process done, um, I, here I go, I take the tape off, waiting for it to be good and dry. And um, I was very, very happy, or I am, I should say, happy with the results of the background. 
and now I do need to finish the fish and um, that will be in a second or a third recording and that should go pretty fast. So the dilemma was I was leaving Florida to come back home and um, I had to have the painting FedExed it down here so I could finish it. So as I look at this, I know immediately what I need to do and that back fin uh, needs to be uh, widened and uh, the ventricular fins, I think they are. I have to add those back. The fish looks too round, so I need to make some adjustments on the body. And that's going to be really fun because I'm going to be using various mediums for that. For example, some transparent medium, some thick uh, body gel, uh, some silver paste to get some of that um, silvery uh, finish or, or effect that the fish have and uh, just really make it pop out. Uh, and that should be fun. So stay tuned, everyone. See you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.